this video, I'm going to show you the best way to beat the blitz from the trips tight end. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. I upload new videos every single day that can help you take your Madden game to the next level. Now, guys, in this video, we are talking all about the blitz. And the reason why we're going to spend a little bit of time here on the blitz is because if you're running trips tight end, a lot of people like to blitz it because they, you don't have the best pass protection. At least a lot of people think that because you have two blockers on the right, but you don't have a blocker on the left. So that being said, we're going to dive into this video. We're going to be using the play curl flat to beat the blitz. And real quick, I also wanted to let you know that I just released my trip sign in offensive guide over at my website. So if you want to get access to that, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. Um, it'll take you right over there. You can get the entire guide for just $15. So how are we going to beat uh, the pressure from this formation. Well, actually, it's really, really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to come out and play curl flat. We're going to smart route the tight end, and we're going to put the circle receiver on a hitch. And then we're going to snap the ball really quickly. Now, if it's man coverage, we're going to throw the angle route nine times out of ten. We're just going to snap, throw the angle route, and we're good to go. Okay, I really, really love to do that. It's one of my favorite reads. The second thing that we can do is we can throw this curl on the left side. We can throw this curl on the left side. Now, I have not seen a lot of people send pretty heavy pressure from man, but if they do, your tight end will nine times out of 10 be open against trips tight end, primarily because of alignment. Now, I would recommend putting deep out elite on your tight end, but what you're gonna see here is if they're just gonna sit in man coverage and they're not and they're blitzing, they're not gonna have safety help, they don't have any zones to put over there, so you can throw that over and over and over and over and over again. Again, just smart route and hitch, and then you're done, snap up, and boom gonna hit that now let's talk about for just a second another man blitz that is very popular uh, and that is the Mike blitz three or the Mike blitz zero so what you're gonna see against Mike blitz zero is you're gonna see you're gonna see this well that guy's not pressing him so I can throw that hitch right now right that guy's not pressing him so I can throw that hitch right now that's very that's a very good read uh, in my opinion let's talk about mid blitz for a second it's another heavy man blitz that you're going to see so let's say you get something like that again he's not pressing him i can throw it right now okay i can throw it right now if that if the receiver on the left side does not get jammed you can throw him really 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 quickly okay and so you're basically saying you're looking at this snap does the user guard the running back or does he go to the right okay well here he goes oh there okay i can throw I should, you don't want to load log this year because of that. I find that happens a lot. I made a mistake of load logging that. But what you'll see is, again, if the user is here, right, and at the snap of the ball, you go, oh, it's right there. Okay, we'll just throw it right now. Real quick, real quick, real, real quick. Um, and I'm telling you, it's real, real simple. It, it really is. It really is so simple. Um, if you don't want to run that corner route, um, you don't even have to smart route that guy. You can, I like to smart route him. Um, you don't have to because if you don't smart route him, he'll go just a little shallower. But let's say, let's go back to mid blitz for a second. So what they're going to start doing is they're going to start taking this guy and they're going to say, you know what? No, you're not going to throw to the left. Okay, if they do that, then what do you do? Well, you throw to the right. Boom. Real easy. Real simple. Again, not very complicated, not very complicated. Now, another way you can beat the blitz is just put the tight end on an out route and basically do the same thing, do the same exact thing that you did. This is a little bit better for a man blitz specifically. And the reason why I like this a little bit better is because that post will beat man better than the hitch will and that out route will beat man quicker and better than the corner. So if you get a man blitz, you go boom, where are they at? And I can throw that, I threw that just a little bit early but I can throw that route to that, that that post. I can throw that before any blitz is gonna get to me. Before any blitz will get to me, I can throw this. Uh, almost. <laughs> if you have Gunslinger and Quick Draw. Um, so that's the, that's the beauty of this. We're gonna talk, it's much better against zone. So if people are gonna man blitz you, there's some strategies. Um, the biggest thing is this, like if they're gonna man blitz you, throw the ball to the tight end over there and just let him run, let him break a tackle. And I'm just telling you right now, that is a very, very good way to play. Um, most people aren't going to guard that. Just telling you right now, most people aren't going to guard that. If you need to, you could slant uh, circle. 
right? I don't want to have to do that because I don't want to have to take the time to do this because I don't want them to have a chance to set up their coverage. But you could do that if you needed to. You could just slant him. The other thing is, and I wouldn't tell, I would, I would not tell. You know, again, we talked about if he's pressed or not pressed. So if he's not pressed, okay, what I would do is if he's not pressed, trust, just try to throw it. They can't react this year. You can click on and make a play. So I mean, that's another thing I like to do. Um, as far as zone, zone is significantly easier to beat than man is. Uh, as far as this with that first setup, so we're smart routing and hitching. Um, if you see something like this, you're either going to have your hitch or your flat wide open. Just take it, right? Just simply take the, the open. So again, pinch two, boom, okay, and go, <laughs> right? Real simple, real, 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 real simple. Now, let's say, uh, let's say they run pinch two and let's say they, they decide, you know what? We're not letting you throw the quick flat. We're going to come down on the ball. Well, throw your curl, okay? Throw your curl. So you're reading that left side. Um, again, you, you have to understand where their user's at. So if their user's on the left, then you might not want to read the left. You might want to read the right. Well, if we read the right here, what you're going to see is that corner route is in a it, it gets in a, in a really good position if they're hard flatting, right? So if they're hard flatting, you have the corner route. If they're not, then your little angle route is going to come underneath everything, and you're going to be able to make a play. So that's the beauty of this little setup and little concept is, you know, you pretty much have an answer for any kind of blitz that they're going to throw at you. Now, the cover two blitz by far is the best. If they're just going to throw Mike Blitz three at you, this is easy pickings. Easy, easy pickings. Just throw the hitch. Like, let's just let the hitch is 90% of the time would be open. Um, if they have to sit on the side that is opposite of the running back to make the Mike Blitz three work, what they'll do is they'll do something like this. So let's say they go to the hitch with their user. And again, this is just, I mean, it's just like shooting fish in a barrel, man. It's wide open. Just take that. And I'm, tell, I'm telling you, they'll stop blitzing you. They'll stop blitzing you um, if you do these couple of things. They're really simple things, too. This is not complicated. Uh, take your tight and out route if you want. Um, you know, you could leave that post. You still have that access throw. If you want to leave the post, leave the post. Um, I like the hitch, but if you want to leave the post, just go ahead and leave the post and just put the tight down and out. You can still throw that right there, okay? I will say it gets a little hairier if they move those safeties down the box, um, you know, but the bottom line is, you know, you're in a really, really, really good spot. If they blitz you from trips, you know, as long as you have something like this or something like this called, you're in a really good, sh you're in a really, really, really good position because this corner route, uh, out route, whatever, the tight end gets open a lot. And most people forget that about trips tight end. So Anyways, if you want to learn the rest of the Trips Tight End Offense, I would encourage you to get my ebook. My Trips Tight End Offensive ebook is on sale for $15. There's a link in the description. You can get the entire offense. If you want to unlock every ebook that I release over the course of the Madden 22 season for just $10 a month, and you can cancel it whenever you want, be sure to join my Patreon. Again, a link to that is going to be down in the description as well. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time.